Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Williamson from BlunderCookie.com and today I'm going to give you a full overview of Blender 2.63 and all of the new features that it offers. Blender 2.63 just came out today and with 2.63 are a couple of major new features and then a lot of smaller additions, improvements, bug fixes, etc. So let's take a quick peek. First of all, we have a beautiful new or more like awesome new splash screen from the Mango team showcasing their pretty awesome robot model and render that they've been working on uh, that's apparently going to play a fairly heavy part in the movie. So awesome new splash screen. Um, you can see 2.63.0. But let's take a quick look before actually diving in at the release notes. So jumping over here to the release notes, uh, we can see, uh, among other things, there's new B-Mesh modeling system, cycles, some motion tracker improvements, sculpt hiding, more features, add-ons, and then bug fixes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an overview of each of these in turn, or at least each of the main ones, including cycles, uh, B-Mesh, and then some of the other features and such. And the way this is broken up is you'll see in this post, there's this video that you're watching right now, and then there's several additional videos below this that then cover each one of these features in turn, or main sections in turn. But let me first just give you a quick rundown on what each of them are. B-Mesh is the probably the most uh, waited for and desired feature in Blender for many, many years now, at least five years, probably more like eight, I think. It's been around at least or about as long as uh, I've been using Blender, which is about 10 years now. Uh, and it's been the one thing that everyone's always been waiting for, but it's always been, you know, needed more development, more development, not quite ready, not quite ready. Now it's finally here. So B-Mesh is, is the new modeling system that allows full InGon support. It's much faster, much easier to model with, and um, provides a much more extensible code base that will allow a much larger uh, base of modeling tools to be easily developed for Blender and in the end give us a much more streamlined, effect, efficient, and effective modeling package. Uh, we've also got a lot of... Uh, improvements to the Cycles render engine. Uh, Cycles is, of course, the new render engine that's been included in Blender for a couple of versions now, and has seen a lot of new features this time around, and continue just to get more and more awesome. The Motion Tracker mostly got a couple of smaller features and such that we'll, we'll look at just a little bit. Uh, I'm not too familiar with actually using the Motion Tracker, but I'll give you a quick rundown on what some of the features are. Uh, sculpt hiding has been brought back. Many of you will remember this from 2.49 and previous, where we had the ability to actually hide or... Uh, unhide portions of our mesh while sculpting to get uh, better viewport performance and whatnot. That's been brought back. There's a lot of other smaller features and such that have been added, brought back, changed, whatever. Uh, a good number of new add-ons. And then we have over 150 bug fixes in the 2.63 release. So I'm going to uh, stop this recording. We're going to jump on over to the next video. So, you know, just scroll down and click on the next video and we'll go through B-Mesh first.